So this is gonna be a follow-up video from my previous Senka Cola vid. I didn't exactly make the cola right. I personally didn't think it would blow up as much as it did. But since it did, a lot of people gave me feedback, whether it be legit feedback or just telling me that I'm dumb. I mean, granted, both of those type of comments are actually right. Look, I, I didn't know how to make cola. I don't even... I just went by what the anime said. And that's what I did. Basically, I went in blind, okay? I did only what the anime told me. I had no research whatsoever, which I could have. But I wasn't aiming for perfection. I was aiming for my take of how I understood it. Granted, it is a lime zest and crushed cilantro. I didn't do that. So that part's entirely on me. Lesson learned. So this is going to be a follow-up video, remaking it using research this time and using y'all guys' feedback. So that's going to be it. <laughs> Whether you cringe, laughed, enjoyed, or disliked the video, hopefully you'll see that I improved in some way or for worse. I don't know. All right, so back to the drawing board. No pun intended. <laughs> this is going to be awful. All right, so we have our limes, or as I say, the green lemons to piss people off and take those away. We also have our cilantro that we'll crush later on in the video. So we'll put that aside. We also have my honey. All right. Homemade sparkling water that I made by myself off camera, obviously. We have our knife to cut the lemons. We have a um, lemon squeezer and we have a uh, zester. And last product we have is a strainer for later on and you'll find out. All right, so first, Cut the lemons in half. Only using two lemons because the other two lemons I want to use for the zest. You may be thinking to yourself, why not just juice all of them and zest them at the same time? Well, imagine getting butthurt over a guy making cola. So what I'm doing now is getting the lime juice so I can add the juice later on when I complete the syrup, I guess. Clean the board off, yada yada. And now I'm just gonna try to get the lime zest. Note, this is my first time using a zester. And this is what I found online and what y'all guys suggested, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting a good amount of zest. And by good amount, I mean this amount. It feels weird. I never did this before. <laughs> Learn new things every day. And my dumbass cut myself, so. Now I'm going to try to crush the cilantro, and apparently it crushed me in a game of blackjack, so I guess I'm not going to crush it. Next we're going to get the rest of the honey that I have. Hopefully it's enough. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Honey. <laughs> uh, looks like we have half a cup. I know you couldn't see it. So now I'll put it in a pot. It was already on low. And we're going to heat this up and caramelize it until I smell or feel like it's burnt enough, quote unquote. We're also gonna add the lime zest that I zested earlier, for lack of better words. I'm gonna add the cilantro leaves. I mean, we're gonna strain it later on anyway, so. Crushed cilantro, yes, I'm aware that I did not do that again. But I got recommended of doing this method as well. And, and I've seen that other video that y'all sent me like, but uh, anyways. This is for about 10 minutes. I don't know how it's supposed to be caramelized, but to me, this looked caramelized to me. So yeah. All right, so now we're gonna strain everything, all the liquids into my trusty Fallout glass. But if there's one thing I've learned about doing this is like trial and error is pretty fun. Just like Senku has some failures too, I guess. And after this, we're gonna add our sparkling water. Right, I really hope this works because when I did this, I don't have any more honey. So this is like a one shot take. I couldn't do two takes like last time. So now I'm just going to stir. And what comes out looks like a little like sewer water, but it's better than the other product. So kudos to that. So this is round, I guess, take two. So in all, this is how my cola looks compared to my last uh, first time trying. As you can see, there's no cilantro on top because I'm not a soda expert or any kind of mix expert. So that's what I learned. So thank y'all for, uh, I guess, aggressively critiquing me. I'm 
I've been used to it in film classes, so that's a good refreshing start. And it tastes more like cola than my other one. It tasted like, uh, I guess, a shake. Freaking learn fallout everywhere. It does have the, as some experts said, the food, it's food coloring, which I didn't know. I mean, I don't actively look up recipes for cola. I mean, I don't even drink the stuff anymore. I only drink tea and water. That's about it. But I think this is a really good improvement, I guess. But yeah. That. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I think this is a really good improvement in my opinion. I could be wrong again. <laughs> I'm not a cola expert. It does taste legit better though, which I really enjoy. I probably will make this sometime. I'll try to impress some friends or shit. I don't know. The only thing I could probably say is if you want to see me fail and or if you want to cringe more about recipes from anime, you know what? If possible, I would legit be interested in making from the recording of this video, the cell phone that uh, Senku is mentioning, which I probably won't. I'll probably just make a bomb instead, which would be better. Anime for the win. I learned not to put cilantro on on top, so that's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you're welcome. But yeah, that. Don't